The sales team at Vision Incorporated has decided to modernize their sales ecosystem by subscribing to Salesforce.com for their customer relationship management requirements. This means that they now need to integrate the data in Salesforce.com with their on-premise Oracle eBusiness Suite. They've chosen Oracle Integration Cloud Service, or ICS, as their strategic platform for this integration. This demo illustrates how an opportunity can be converted into an order with just a few clicks using ICS as the integration platform. After Bob, the sales rep, logs into Salesforce.com, he creates a new opportunity in the system. He enters information for the opportunity and adds the associated products to complete the opportunity configuration. Next, Bob creates a quote for the opportunity. He provides the relevant details. After he saves the changes, Bob can synchronize the quote and the opportunity to enable bi-directional sync of quote line items and opportunity products. Now the quote configuration is completed. Bob presents the quote to the customer, and after negotiations, the quote is accepted. The opportunity is closed, which triggers the creation of a new sales order in eBusiness Suite. Bob can check the details of the sales order. For example, he can see the order number of the sales order in eBusiness Suite right here in Salesforce.com. Now, when the customer calls Bob for details on where the order is, he calls the order management team and provides the order number in eBusiness Suite. With that, the details of the order can be retrieved immediately. Now let's take a look at how you can build this integration using ICS quickly and without any coding. James, integration designer of Vision Incorporated, logs into the ICS web console. This console is the one-stop shop for designing, monitoring, and managing all your integrations. From the landing page, James can perform one of the following tasks. Creating connections to various SaaS and on-premise applications. Building integrations between connections or monitoring transactions through the dashboard. James starts with the connections. Oracle Integration Cloud Service provides pre-built connections. These include connections to SaaS, on-premise, and social applications, and more. Here, James builds a new connection from scratch to first configure the connection to the eBusiness Suite using integrated SOA Gateway Web Service. He specifies a name and a version number for the connection, configures the WSDL file in the Connection Properties field, and tests the connection to make sure it works fine. James then creates the connection for Salesforce.com and configures credentials using the provided Salesforce.com account information. James then moves on to the integration. The landing page shows all the integrations that James and his team have created. Oracle Integration Cloud Service provides pre-built integrations to integrate between various SaaS and on-premise applications. Here, James creates a new integration from scratch. He chooses the Map My Data style of integration to simplify data mapping and to send the request data from Salesforce.com to eBusiness Suite. There are other patterns available, such as PubSub, orchestration, virtualization, and more. On the right is the list of SaaS and on-premise connections he's created previously. Since the opportunity information is sent from Salesforce to eBusiness Suite, James drags and drops the Salesforce connection to the Source section. He names this endpoint and picks up the outbound messaging interface and the related business object, in this case, Opportunity. Next, James configures the target of the integration, eBusiness Suite. James selects Opportunity Sync as the operation. The next step is to create the data mappings between these two endpoints. Typically, this is the most complex and time-consuming part of delivering an integration. However, with the simple data mapper in ICS, James can easily drag and drop to create the mapping. Also, ICS has a mapping recommendation system that can create the mapping automatically. The time and cost required to build and deliver mappings is significantly reduced. To ensure end-to-end -end visibility, James configures the key search identifiers for this integration flow. Why is he doing this? If an order creation failed, or if EBS was down for maintenance, the operation manager may want to search the transactions based on the opportunity name or organization ID and identify which transactions are not processed. He can also use this identifier and search for transactions on the monitoring dashboard. James has completed the integration, and he hasn't written a line of code or worked on an XML schema, XSLT, or other artifact. He activates the flow in one click. The messages can now seamlessly flow between Salesforce.com and eBusiness Suite. For more information, check out the other videos in this series. Thank you for watching.